Well, I did uh, get some scores that do well, and I, I got some speakers, but one is some Panasonic, um, old Panasonic speakers, but one's blown. But this is the review of that. Today's review, and I'm going to show you, because, let me get some plug real quick, is a Zenith clock radio. I think this is from the LG era. It has to be from the LG era. Uh, it works really well. So, uh, go ahead and plug this in and I'll show you. And I'll set the clock. It is a, um, I'll show you because I want to play it in the light. It is, it's a model number. It looks like it is, but it's the one number. Z1, it right here. That is the one number. It's a Z1 TV4B. Um, Zenith Audio Products, technology, SDI technology, so SDI technologies, uh, make for LG, and New Jersey. Um, I'm not sure when it was manufactured, I think it has to be sometime in the late 90s, or, because that's when the new logo came around, or 2000, like 99, I want to say 99, 99 or 2000. Sometimes in the 2000s. Sometime when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, I checked the thing, I checked the thing book out of here when, when I was on the way home. Um, there's no battery in it, so that's a good thing. There's no night bolt in here. I might go see if I'm going to with that one. See how long it actually lasts. So I knew, um, Corner Prod, Corner Prod 66 had, uh, uh, I uh, did a storm video. He had tornado, severe storms and tornado. Took his power out. They had they had power and the nine volt battery actually lasted a day. That's actually surprising for me too. Usually nine volts don't last long. Then that they yeah, used to be good, and then they used to be crap. Or probably because the clock is that thing used a lot of power. Things the power. And now they got the clock is now got energy efficient. Go ahead and plug this in. Um. I don't, like I said, I didn't want stereo, I just want something that's just simple, compact, and something I can actually see. There is something wrong with the switch right here, when you, how many alarms you want on, like, right here, if you want one alarm, two, oh, or one on, alarm, two on, or both on. That switch is a little finicky, because you'll see here, it starts, sometimes it'll start flashing, then you do get it working. Hold on, turn the alarm on first. Oh, yeah, see. It, oh, well, you'll see it, dude. See, that's what it does. Like, it flickers sometimes. And sometimes that is an issue. I think that's, that's a, that, I think that is a due to 30 switch. Uh, I don't know why it's a little bit. I think it's back on high. Karen makes it brighter than it seems. Uh, I'll start here. I'll probably pause this video and, and I'll stop the video for a minute and then, uh, um, set the clock. So, it is set. It is 10.31 p.m. Yep. Uh, I think one of my friends says that's also good, but it's actually getting to the point where it's actually dark outside right now. <sighs> okay. The functions on the front, you got the uh, time set button, you gotta hold it and fast or forward. Uh, I, was, I forgot that was the next set time set is uh, slow forward, and I, I keep pressing the wrong button, press it by accident when my uncle was trying to set it, and slow me. Um, this is the back button. So, yeah, so this is all set right now. Um, the sleep button does work. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, light won't go off. I don't sure why it does it. You got to pick up every stitch. You got to pick up every stitch. I'm gonna figure this out for a minute. So I figured. Okay, I figured it out. Um, you get to turn like, the sleep timeout. As soon as you hit um sleep and press the four um. Get the zero, you'd let go of the uh, sleep button, let go of the buttons, and they'll like del delay, and it turns off. 
Wait, first off. I get delayed for a second. Uh, press up sneeze button, the answer is a second. Um, got volume, no, I haven't tested the alarm on it yet, so you might, uh, join me when I test the alarm on it. I have not ever tested the alarm on it yet. That's the thing with this clock radio. This clock radio sucks because the alarm isn't even freaking that loud. Um, let's go ahead. Actually, let's turn the alarm on. Okay. I'm going to set the uh, alarm on. And let's look at the alarm here. It has an alarm set button somewhere. There it is. I think you have to press the uh, switch for them too. Uh, Okay, let's try something. <laughs> I might stop, start trying to pause this again and do it again. <laughs> okay, I have to use my pants. Clock out to use my pants. Sorry. Okay, let's see how good the alarm on this is. I hope it's louder than the, uh, the uh, Sony. Um, my, 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 when it's just, my, um, watch is, uh, 7.35, um, 6 and 4 seconds. After, uh, so, uh, so, uh, about 4 seconds after 7.36, it should be, um, it should be doing it. Because it's like, my watch is like 4 seconds ahead of some reason. Oh, well, this is the first time I watched test this plan. I get to hear it, how it sounds. That's not that bad though. That just sounds the same thing as GE. In the 2000s. Um. Okay, let's test. Okay, let's go to the radio now. Actually, I want to know something. Do you, does it have to have a, do you, as long as you have a separate way to do it? Let's see, search so this one too. Buttons. Yeah, so you guys wish this does. It's either one or two to set it. I don't think it works if we hit one and two. I'm sure it would have if you hit one and two. It wouldn't work. Yeah, so it wouldn't work if you use if you had on one Intel. You have to have a one or two. To, if you had on both, the switch on where it set the both. You have to, to switch it back. To, you have to pick, you have to pick one or one to set it. You can't have it on both. The switch on both. To set the to set the alarm. So that's better than um. And it, it, I can tie tell it's gonna get louder and louder. Um. So let's, let's put the um, let's do this back at the beginning. So we can do that being a skin on this thing. And yep, I had to oh that's another thing about this video. You'll only you'll also probably get to sprint the uh, AM radio on here. Um, I don't think AM radio is actually dead, I think it's doing fine. Because I got good AM speed right here. Let's see pop right here, but Okay, let's try it. It does have an antenna on here. So that's another thing about dot this with clock radio. There's a neat design with this radio. Um, let's turn the FM on. This one's all the way down here. Why is this camera not want to focus? Uh, I can't speak in all of it. I guess decent reception down here. I think I'm in the basement level. Oh god, this is not so I used to sound so I got that song in. Damn it, we're out on me. Um, okay, let's try AM. And the AM switch is right here. Um, uh, give me it here, I'll be back there. Yeah. Turn it all the way. It probably won't work well because it's actually 738. Oops, it's right now. But, um, let's try it. Probably to get the other session. The newer radio is saying here. 
Those are just for the first initiation. Oh, yeah, I get uh, exit the section. Protesters. Among their That's 300 AOW. Temperature 46 in Midtown, Thursday. Yeah, it works. I should take the reception. Uh. Yeah, you should read and explain. Uh. There's a cost for looking one today. So yeah, it's not a bad recession too. I think it does more better than the Sony does. Sony doesn't get much. Uh I didn't see it, I think it's two stations and that's right it. With the yellow so. Um where plays that. Uh, so I'm it actually plays with the clock radio. It's a nice clock radio and it's from the Chinese era. Cause it is made in China, um, but it's not bad. And I, I, I only need to explain it. It is dim enough. There's another thing I like about this clock radio. This great radio it gets a little, little bright, and it has three dim things. This one has two. It's just like for the LEDs. It's just bright and dark. It looks darker if you look. If you look, it's like darker and it looks on the camera. I mean, just dim enough. Um. It's a nice radio. I'm gonna keep this one, and I'm probably gonna get this one my brother, or get someone who wants one, or needs one. Um, I guess I like this one better. It learns better. It's, it gets better reception, and well, with FM, this one is good too. But this one just does a better job with AM. It, this this one with AM, it, it knocks. The Sony and the, it definitely kills it, it ducks it apart with the scene. The scene is shit, shitty with 100 AM. I mean, it does good like my uh, my uh, GE Soraya does in the uh, I think there's an ILO. I get my aunt and that Phillips I used to have. Um, I think the AM on this does a good job too. I don't think that, I don't I think the AM on that one does good. The, the Linux is it beats the Linux by a long shot. But, um, the GE right here is probably one my buddies take to work. This one I might give my brother and let him take to work. Um, that when it comes to this radio, it does a better job, too. Um, the other thing I like about this radio, it does have a port thing set. My only complaint about Neural Clock radios is just this garbage. The latest use. Come on, because the transport always, possibly has always been built into a clock radio. Why do we have to use these? These are garbage because they can break easily. They're heavy. They take up. They come in kind of power strip. This doesn't come with power strip because it uses a regular power cord. Um, here's the funny part about this. Look at that. It's still this clock radio. This Zen clock radio still has the plastic from when it was new in in a, in a box. I guess the core was red, red plastic. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Because um, when I got this, it was actually the core had room in the intent was was it rubber? The, uh, the Google actually had it rubber, the ribbon. Um, I got I got this thing because it's better than modern clock radios. I mean, this was you know, this was a cheap clock radio. It's better than today's garbage clock radios. This, these new clock radios are just awful. They're garbage. Um, the quality isn't there. I mean, they, they, when it comes to quality, I mean, this one has a good sound quality, but when it comes to build quality and just laziness. I mean, clock radios are not fading out. People still use them. You can always pin your phone. Um,. And there's some like I met. Um, he said he can't pin on his phone. He needs his, uh, um, that's a long clock. And that's I got this Goodwill. It says the Zenith, and I like Zenith. 
I don't know what that ring, I used to have a TV, it was a Zenith. It had a Zenith until 2009, until the TV started to die, because it wouldn't do anything. I think it was January 2010 when it died. And, yeah, this thing, yeah. There is a second, I like that, that's kind of cool, the clock, some clocks. I think that doesn't even have that either, that, that clock right here, doesn't even have that feature. And that one does have, uh, it'll, it'll, auto, auto daylight savings, but, because it's this one, it's just more superior. I mean, this is when I think when, you know, clock rays were still good. I mean, if I compare this one, this one, this one, it's, you can tell, the, you feel it, like the plastic on this one, it's garbage. It comes with this one. I think there's like a ten, uh, 9, 8 years difference between this one, this is just 10, this has like 2000s, late 90s, 2000s. Um, like I said, we went from good quality, even back in the 2000s, some electronics were still, some cheap electronics were still good. Then we got to modern uh, uh, shitty electronics like shitty radios too, look, look that, that Mimrex, that's a shitty radio, it's, Terrible quality radio. Um, and I do not listen to radio much. Uh, it's just the quality that today's garbage is on, but um, I, li I listen to it because I listen to stations that play some of the music I grew up to. Um, like Nick Snipe 49, WBM play some, and then we got GRR, and we got. Um, 98 and 945. Like, I'll play the ones that play the classics. And there's like classic country. Like, I go to the good era country. Hell, I grew up when the, um, the good era country, uh, late in the 90s, we're in the 90s and 2000s when the country was good. The mid 2000s when country started getting good. I don't know why, but I didn't even notice that, that good country even got better in 2006. And then, I don't know why, but country got better. In, Got good, better, and two by two thousand six, and then it went like good, better, and like because we've been rich, and then we went to shit. I don't know why. I mean, there's some one. I, I mean, there's some songs I like from country, but and some wondering songs I like, but yeah. Pretty much the talent people. Don't bring the new plant people here. I mean, not, not, not right, but like using freaking computers. Really, you're using computers. They're not really people. People are not really singing. They're using what is it? Voice enhancements. The freaking that's stupid. But this rant's taking too long here, and my time and eating up my memory card. Um, so I'll see you guys later. And this is a review of the Zenith um, Clock Radio.